We are in the UP of Michigan, exploring, having a great time at Schoolie Up. And we will be touring some schoolies and just showing you around and what it's all about. So first off, the weather is just beautiful. It's about 72, 73, sunny. Um, very nice, typical of UP, we're told. Uh, we've been able to check out the beaches. That is a lot of fun. A lot of great stuff there. Um, we also made it up to Whitefish Point, saw the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. That was a lot of fun too. Anyway, um, point of this video why you're here is to see some schoolies so let's get to that we got an MCI F4500 and uh, I've been told there's a, a uh, bedroom in the basement we're just making some lunch so oh okay I know where that goes <laughs> and they travel some big old dogs too yeah we, we got got Shelty. We got a St. Bernard in our... Callie and a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both beautiful. Is yours the St. Bernard over there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I oh. thought. I'm like, Beethoven's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on in. Yeah. Dave's just making money. All right. Did you spray Yeah. It was all insulated. All this is all wide open in here. Two inches of dense foam pour insulation already in it. So did you buy it already gutted? Or? So there's the access to the bedroom it looks like. That's pretty cool. And then we ripped all of that out. I think it took us about a month to rip everything out. Like the bar here. And then from there, then care of built it all up and put it all back together. Oh, she did it? Yeah, she did 95% of it with her own hands. Awesome. Yeah. I, uh, nice job. I with yeah. the design components. Oh, man, I love yeah. Pedals are still oh, the same. Oh, so much better. Haven't changed. And, um, so I was dangerous yeah. of burning it's a cockpit area. area. A little higher on that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so we got Helen yeah. is the second, like it's a really good. Um... We've got the green sleeves here. Let's check that one out. All right, we got steps there. Those are pretty cool. Very nice finish work. Wow. The paint in here looks as good in person as it does on camera. Very nicely done. like the dinette here. It's not perfect for two people. Got the big Berkey water filter. Bathroom. Is this your bank? Yes. Cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, well, I can't take credit for building it, but I can't take credit for designing it. Oh, we had a, uh, a tiny home builder here. Who was, uh, when COVID hit, his business plummeted. So he gave us a really good price to do for us. And he wanted
So, uh, we said, like, oh, yeah. hot dog rolls. We liked your work on Piney Home, so. Yeah, and he was great to work with all along the way, because I could, um, so I had the, the fellow build it out, and I told him I wanted a, um, a little beach cottage on wheels, and that's what, I, I think the thing fit the bill pretty good. Yeah, I think they nailed it. <laughs> Even like your delicate, like, little piece of trim. Yeah, well, a lot of the things, like, um, I couldn't put the, you know, the way to, I had to figure out a way to get the curtain up there, so I put the curtain so this folds down, you know, at nice. night for privacy and that one too. The others go this way. But, uh, and then this situation oh, this, right here looks like it moves. Oh, this is interesting, yeah. Oh, it turns into a floor. This is, uh, like, I call it the bridge. I don't know what that's called. We need something like that in ours for sure. And it, it folds down when we're, when we're riding, it's really heavy. And then I grab my little, my little uh, footstool here and put it there so I can put my feet up and, run, and go down the road and ride <laughs> in comfort. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it's nice. And then um, the you nice part of it is we, I got this on um, uh, like Craigslist. Oh, there's a, there's a darn bug in there. Darn bug? Darn bug. We're in nature. I know. <laughs> so this. This, he rigged, Bob rigged it up so it would swivel, so I can turn it around and we can have more seating in here. I'm and then so I can turn sure. it all the way around, put this up and have a, like a little desk. It, it's tiny, but okay. yeah, if you need a little extra spot yeah. or, or if you need a little, a little extra counter space. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's enough um, to put a laptop on. Yeah. Yeah. That works out. And we like to, we play cards a lot and we do a lot of stuff. So I, I wanted the dinette. That was important for me. Because we set. like have our breakfast there, and then we play, mm -hmm. you know, our meals, and it's just wide enough for two plates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, we had a built first. It was it was wider, and I, I I don't know. I just I guess I miscalculated a little bit, but um, we got in there. We had to have the table cut down a little bit because I was too fat to fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't fit in here. Like, like there was not enough wiggle room. Like, no, there was no wiggle room. I was like, I got me. So he took an inch and a half off either side of the table, and I was like, okay, now it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got the gardener show here. <laughs> got a nice L shaped couch. A seating area. Beautifully done kitchen. I thought these these beds here were very interesting as well. And they're almost floating. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got. So how many does this sleep? Four. Me and my three daughters. And then this is the only thing that converts because I just wanted to put it mm -hmm. in the park and go to bed. I didn't want to make a table into a bed mm -hmm. or a couch into a bed, so. Yeah, that's the same thing we do. We tried to make dedicated sleeping areas because if you convert, you're always converting and it's just back and forth, back and forth. No, it's beautiful. You've done a great job. Thank you. How long have you been working on it? Um... Uh, it, it was pretty much, we built it in four months and then uh, been in it for two years. Mm -hmm. So, okay, just do a project. What's the, what's the name of this bus here? So we are the Young Venture. That's the name over here. And um, been full time family traveling for two years. Okay. Two years. So come inside and check it out. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. So we have here the, the sofas. This part comes all here. Mm. It turns into a guest bed. bed. Is that something you designed, put together? Yeah, we, it, was, it was already an L-shaped sofa that we just split it up mm -hmm. and kind of like just create the base, match both heights. And that was pretty much it. And then on this side, this side, the whole thing flips up. And okay. We keep all our, our shoes in there. So there's, they're nice and tucked away. Well, here we have the table on, the, on a couple of hinges. It just flips up. Mm -hmm. 
hooks into the, in there, and then we have a chalkboard underneath. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so that's very handy, and then we just pull it up, covers our windows when we're parking mm -hmm. in a parking lot or somewhere, you know? Cool. And then on the right side, we have just the kitchen area. Pantry. Rollout pantry is nice. Yeah, we just installed those like a couple months ago and they're like super nice upgrade. Yeah, constantly used, improving. Yeah, for sure. we used to have this these things and they were already built in a frame, but they were all with wheels and it was always mm -hmm. moving around. So we just attached them together and, and just installed the, the slides. Yeah. Are those soft closed so they stay closed a little bit or no? Yeah, they stay closed and if not, we put on the trash can here when we, okay. when we move. <laughs> Yep. And then and then this this guy goes over there, covers that part. And then just the storage mm -hmm. up here. And then mm -hmm. you know, or, Okay. The bunk beds on one side and the and the restroom. Okay. Bathroom here. It's nice. Is that a composting toilet? Yeah, the nature has Composting toilet. Does that work pretty well? Yeah, we like it. And the bunk beds, these are also very nice. I like the railings on the steps or the rungs on the little ladder there. Yeah. That's clever. Is it okay to go in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Or the, the bedroom rather? Yeah, go ahead. Right. We have one nice. on each side. One for okay. our kids and one for Okay. Yeah, there I see that. Is that a king size bed in there? Yeah, it's a king size, and then we have the the that's with the blue couch. Mm -hmm. That's the top of the engine, the engine bay. Right, this is a rear engine. Yeah, it's a rear engine. So we have all this space. Nice. We can, we can actually all four sleep there. I'm sure. Sometimes the kids end up in bed, right? Yeah. Well, there was a couple of nights where it got really cold, mm -hmm. so we just all just lock up in there mm -hmm. and then just put the heater there. And just close everything in. Do you have any target. tricks to get the sheets on the bed with the mattress no, standing against something? Well, it's, it's very <laughs> difficult. So that's why, like, we have the the excess, like the area, the top of the engine. Yeah. So I get in there, and then I can push it from <laughs> this side. That's good. That's yeah. good. We can't do that on ours. It's a pain in the butt yeah, to do ours. Well, thank you very much for showing. Thank you for coming, guys. Stew the bus. All right, we're gonna check out Stew the bus here. Hi, guys. <laughs> So it is a shorter schoolie, but yeah, he's got to pack a, more fun into a smaller space. What do you got going on here? Yeah, so Stu's a 2005 E450 Super Duty diesel. Uh, it's 22 feet bumper to bumper, and we've been in it for like three years full time. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like you put a lot of work into it. It looks nice. Yeah, thanks. A lot of help from my dad. Okay. He's construction for like 30 years, so. Okay. I grew up around power tools, but it wouldn't have finished so nice all the finishing work he's like this is how you should do it i was like okay <laughs> finishing work it you, it's your guys's is great though well thank you i i learned a lot i yeah. it's one of those things where if i did it over again i would do so many things different yeah but well, it was what you a, did do is well yeah. thank you i appreciate you just it. say you didn't want to spend like 10 grand on cabinets and so you were like i'm gonna make them yeah yeah that's perfect well that's what well, yeah when we were doing our kitchen and then we in our in our sticks and bricks house and then uh, that was like, okay oh that's right you had like a test run yeah that, you'd call it uh, yeah i guess <laughs> 20 30 cabinets is a test run yeah, yeah. <sighs> big test run i can tell the difference between my first ones and my last ones yeah and, that's uh, for sure even in the bus first ones versus the last ones yeah uh, so yeah so. we just got the nature side composter in there okay if you want to poke in there sure sure oh, just uh, tight fit it barely fits here yeah <laughs> that wasn't even planned which is nice <laughs> Um, Especially when it works out, you know, like, yeah. oh, I gotta cut the door, I gotta yeah, cut something exactly. down. Well, that's so nice. That's nice. Yeah. You haven't seen a couple of those? Does that work out all right? I've never, I never even considered it when we were doing yeah. our build, but that we works like good. It a lot. Yeah. It doesn't really get too smelly. It's like on its last <laughs> space. In there. Okay. So, you know, it's pretty full. I don't so smell anything. Really, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never get, if it, if it's blowing wind, since we did it out the side, mm -hmm. if the wind's coming directly in, it's a little not great sometimes. 
Okay. Uh, but besides that, like a lot of people have vented up top and mm -hmm. put a little stack. And that's like they say there's no complaints with that and most of the time it's fine it's just like a little computer case fan in there okay and it just sucks out like one time that went out oh that was it was swampy in there <laughs> i don't know if you want to get explicit <laughs> on this video but swampy <laughs> is a good word but their customer service is fantastic we hit them up and they sent two of these out like overnight to us so now we have a backup oh, and oh a perfect replacement. and we were like out on the road but they still just Wow. Dropped everything and sent them out. For f we didn't even have to pay. Wow. As far as I'm aware, this is unsponsored, so awesome. Yeah, not really. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> not yet. Send me that, and we'll send it to them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, when customer service is that good, I, I have to tell people. Because right. You yeah. know, oh. never know. And, like, it is, like, a $1,000 toilet, which is ridiculous. But for customer service like that, and we've used it every day for three years. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm sponsored by Nature's Head. <laughs> <laughs> um... But anyway, yeah, just storage everywhere, battery bank. It's nothing super fancy. But <clears throat> what are you running for batteries and all that? Um, three 100 amp hour sealed AGMs. Okay. They're kind of on their last legs because three years is rough on those. But um, can be, yeah, depending on where you're at. I'm in the middle of some battery journeys. Yeah. It's always a journey, right? You're right, yeah. <laughs> you got, looks like you got some solar there. Yeah, charge controller. Uh, and then we have 320 watts on the roof, which is not enough also. Hopefully when we oh, replace yeah. those, we'll do more solar too. Um, I always tell people solar, cover the roof of it. Yeah. It's, it a, it's the cheapest part of any build. Yeah, it is. It's the panels themselves. It's yeah. the batteries, inverters, chargers. That's where the expense comes. Yeah. For sure. We're hoping to go up to like 600, I think. Mm -hmm. when we, so it'll double. Right. Um, just a normal 110 house fridge. I'm a uh, fan of those personally. Yeah, I, I, it's. I mean, could there be nicer fridge in there? Yeah, but for two hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had another <sighs> one for a while. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, because it doesn't really fit, and that one just crapped out on us like two months in, and it got over like seventy degrees. It just would never turn off. So that's that. Was that an RV fridge or? No, it was same. Like just okay, kinda, just a little taller and skinnier, but um, same, just one ten. And then we did like the chest freezer with the mm -hmm. thermostat controller in it for a while. That worked for like two and a half years, but then six months ago or so we got that. Okay. Because the chest freezer stopped working. But... So my thought on the fr yeah. on the fridges is, if it's the one ten residential, something you can pick up at a Lowe's, Home Depot, you can get it anywhere, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> Versus, Versus the RV crazy. ones are so expensive. Yeah. And you can take that money, put it into your batteries, solar, and then you can run it off a of one ten yeah. without a problem. And these are getting so efficient now. And right. It runs not that much longer than like other people's Dometics and stuff mm -hmm. and they paid like 1200 it's your bedroom also yeah. looks beautiful there um, queen bed uh these storage comes out we each have two of those for dressers and then it's kind of like a u-shape underneath okay um, for all that storage garage stuff mm -hmm. you can go check that out later too and then we really like having we didn't think there'd be so much space front to back on this mm -hmm. but we had like the extra 10 inches of space so we just did like storage all back there with insulation oh, okay. and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. And it's nice for like drinks and water and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. And then for a stove, we just do a Coleman two burner up there. Okay. Just yep. put it on the counter or outside. I do yeah. the outside, but yeah. sometimes we're lazy. Mm -hmm. Food. We got the vent right here. So yeah. That yeah, works. it's super nice. That's why we didn't cook too much in there before we put that in. That was kind of a late. <sighs> and your vent is in the escape hatch and it yeah. looks like your escape hatch is still pretty functional and accessible yeah totally everything pops up i don't want to do it now <laughs> of course it's totally good so we used to oh. pretty much exclusively go to the rooftop deck mm -hmm. with we have like a little telescoping ladder over there and we used to just go up through here so we can mm -hmm. have all the doors locked and stuff and we still do sometimes but most of the time i just like to keep that <laughs> closed and tidy you know yeah but uh yeah that's pretty much the answer. You get oh, any is this a questions? table? Oh that yeah. Pops out? So these are it's like the knockoff lagoon tables. So okay. you just put that in the little hole. Oh right there here. I see there. Okay. okay. And they got like a little flange okay. on the bottom and you just screw it on. That's awesome. And that was like pre like we didn't even have to cut those and like thread them to size. Mm -hmm. They were just at home home depot like that. Okay. Yeah. For like I think it was like maybe twenty bucks for all the legs and nice. then that was way before plywood was super expensive, so... Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would suck to be building right now. Mm -hmm. When did you guys build yours? 2017 is when we started. Nice. Same and, year. Yeah. And then... Uh, way before all that. 
Well, you want to poke around in the garage? Sure, a sure. Bit? I haven't and seen too many uh, garages, so yeah. A lot of our content ends up being uh, a lot of our content ends up being around because we have the MCI, so it's a lot of coach stuff. So yeah, for sure. I'm interested in seeing more more so, stories. Yeah. More half size, height size. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the breadth of creativity. Yeah. Is just so cool. So you got all this stuff here. Yeah. That's flying around, but. And you can always just crack that open and spare water. Yeah, it's nice sleep that way. Yeah. Or you know, we, we used to have a screen for that, but mm -hmm. it kind of didn't really work great. Right. Yeah. So most of the time, we don't leave it open, if, mm -hmm. especially here because it's super bumpy. But yeah, yeah. You just lock it out. That's super nice. That used to just have a wheelchair lift on it. The other side of the U is it's a little harder to access, but we just okay. have like paddle boards. And cool. Stuff cool. in there. Yeah. Are you online on the uh, Instagram or yeah. anything? Did we give you a sticker? I don't think we have a sticker. We've been yeah. we just found out about the stickers. Your sticker oh, design. okay. And you do the design for some other people too? I do. Yeah. All I've right. done like three or four of the buses so far. What's the? <laughs> so we got a MCI A one hundred six. Did you say? One hundred two A. Yep. 102A. I I get the numbers mixed up. It's okay. But another MCI here. 85. 85. And a lot changed in those couple of years between ours, looks like. They got a little wider, a little taller maybe. Windows are bigger, I would say. Yeah, I would say I think so. So let's see what you got going on inside. Sure. Got a tour lady. You're perfectly fine. Come on in. All right. This is real life. I mean, we live in it, so that's, that's how it works, that's right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm starting to get there, too. Yeah, we're totally loving the... I was telling Jen that... So we have... Uh, I think you were there. I don't know. We have the MC9, and it's six inches less wide, and you can really feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So... So this is. So that's uh, funny because when you came up there, boss, you're like, it seems so much wider and spacious in there. <laughs> well, it's no, that's it's funny. Different. I mean, more it, spacious. <laughs> it's I don't I don't know how to I don't know. The layout. It's just really weird, but it's the layouts always change the way you feel too. So. I think that's probably true. Where you, I don't know if there's like grass is greener. Maybe, kind of maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I was whenever I see another people's bus, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I wish we well, could try that. I'd you love point to try out that. your own flaws. So right, you don't right. see everyone else's flaws, and um, but uh, mm -hmm. so this is obviously the living room, kitchen, uh, dining, everything. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, just what a family needs for three teenage boys almost. So going with a full size refrigerator and stove. Mm -hmm. That was a necessity, and a full size sink. Um, with all the food and stuff, you know, you gotta put right. it someplace. And so, yeah, small pantry, that's the only downside with having so many kids, but. Uh huh. I wish we had Especially gone to a school place, like a schoolie event before we had built because we hadn't. So we, so we got mm, pull out drawers for, stuff you know, for like, uh, typical stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, See, our, our pantry, we just rushed and we did not, no drawers in it. We need to add drawers for sure. Yeah, yeah we, uh, you know, that's, it was an afterthought, of course, you know, because I knew the, the basics of what I needed. Love your bunks in here. Yep, we've got nice. three bunks. Uh, the boys have their own space. It's actually eight foot, so they have, uh, uh, you can't see it in this one because mm -hmm. he's got so much stuff, but there's a, a little cubby hole underneath. This mm -hmm. is where their, uh, Oh, yeah. Clothes go, and they have a cubby on the other end for just stuff. Personal mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. Trinkets and whatever else they, they come across on the road. Um, of course, our our oldest the same thing. It's his dresser is mm -hmm. just the same, except his comes up so that we have room for the wash, wash machine and accessing the stuff that all our extras back in here right. that you can't can't really find a home for. So. Mm -hmm. And then onto the bathroom. We went with a uh, fairly full shower. I don't think I've ever seen this one. We just ran we through together real quick. Ran through, yeah. Nice. Our oldest is uh, 14 and 6'1", so it's. Oof. I wanted a I wanted the tall, tall bathroom uh, for myself uh, as mm -hmm. well as him. I'm afraid he's going to grow more, and <laughs> going to be. He's going to be ducking, is my guess. So. Yeah. 
We went with a composting toilet. We made it ourselves. Couldn't justify uh, the cost for uh, for a family of five. So, of course, we've got dripping clothes all over. Typical ah, that's of funny. teenage boys, right? <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible to, well, of course, anything's possible, but I hadn't heard of anybody creating their own composting toilet until just now. You know, um, we looked into it. It was cheaper. Um, of course, there's downsides. Um, mm -hmm. I did the best I could. I've got two vents on it, two um, computer fan vents. But the problem that we run into is actually when we're traveling, uh, the airflow sometimes kicks back on us. So... Um, I'm still, I'm, I'm changing things and adjusting things mm -hmm. to see if I can get rid of that. Um, but in general, it's, uh, I, I think it works like it's supposed to. So um, as far as, I mean, I don't, I don't smell it when we're in here on a regular basis, camping or right. stationary, but so. Battling black tank or yeah. odor issues has been something we have also dealt with. Yeah, I mean, it's, you, you have it, yeah, I think you have it either way you go. You know, right. It's just a, which one do you want to deal with? Which one do you not want to deal with? So. The things I've changed, it's it's progressively getting better. Mm -hmm. um, there's times where we'll go stretches of 20, 30 miles, and it's fine. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, the wind changed direction or something. And yeah, and, um, but usually it's short lived at this point. So we're almost almost there. So um, that's yeah. good to hear. And we went to a, with a regular vanity sideways. Mm -hmm. We had to make our oh, that's clever. Uh, make our own shelves, but uh, we like the mirror and it just didn't fit. So my wife's like, can we put that on side? I'm like, I bet I Why can not? make that work. <sighs> uh, yeah. And then the master bedroom, our bedroom, the nice. biggest room probably. Mm -hmm. um, again, our, our bed comes up. We have uh, dresser drawers on slides underneath there. Of course, with all the other storage, closed storage in here and closed storage in there. We had this nice little cavity. Um, back there that we had to do something with instead of just get rid of it and so it's about 12 inches deep and throw some clothes in there and it works. So, nice. Yeah. Other than that, and it's, it's home. All right. So, well, thank you for showing us around. You're welcome. And uh, what are you on Instagram as? We are on Instagram, the Gable Bus, uh, Instagram and YouTube. Okay. So you can find us there. Well, we'll be checking you out for sure. and. Uh, Safe travels. Thank you. Now here's a sight here. Check out this bus. He says it's a normal bus, but it sounds like a semi truck. And he travels in style. Look at that. Got some mudden jeeps. That's the way to do it right there. I gotta go to the wide lens to get it all. I know, right? <laughs> so what's the story here? Where he's at. We might oh. vlogging, we might vlog, but we also like travel all over all cross country with it. Okay. Yeah, and um, he originally his vision was to use the trailer to go buy old trucks. He restores old trucks, but he's also always built his own mud stuff. Okay. So we can do what it haul. Sometimes all we haul is the picnic table till we find something to put on it. <laughs> All right, so this is the Pollination Station Art Bus with the world famous Malcolm McRae. World well, famous, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it. I see you everywhere. Hi. So, guys, come on in. I'm gonna let you. Go. Oh, and that's your, that's your uh, mini, mini split. split running. Yeah. I'll come to your front. I got the door. Okay. You know, I, did, I put it in the front, um, and I kind of left our floor plan a little bit open. Mm -hmm. And then, like, um, I usually, like, if it gets, like, just really, if I just need to move some air, mm -hmm. then I'll just kind of push it back. And then uh, I just put that Max fan in. Okay, yeah, that, was, that works that good, too. really well, just putting it directly into the hatch. Uh-huh. So... Um, yeah, that worked out good. Yeah. How did you secure yours with it, because it's still here? We were talking, I contacted you about the latch. Yeah. So I just cut the latch out, and then I just screwed it down from the top. Oh, okay. So it open back. Okay. I thought about doing that, but we were thinking about maybe it was kind of nice to be able to crawl up there when we needed to. Uh, I used the one in the back. Oh, okay, that so works. I kept that one. Okay. And, um, so pretty much, this lifts up. This is a um, 
a table that lifts up for, you know, I do printing and my graphic mm -hmm. design, my wife sews and everything. And then we built these cabinets for the food and different Okay, a little pantry. Like pantry. And then uh, stove and oven. All right. Four burner stove with the oven. And then um, I got the instant hot water heater. Okay, so, how do you like that? I love it, man. I haven't having any problems with it. You know, it, it does really well. It's just, um, it's, you know, you know, it never works when you video on it. Right? <laughs> well, I, believe, I don't, you know, nobody can tell if that's hot water. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. Um, but I just, I love the rugs in here. I just loved, when I came in here the first time, I was just like, this is totally different than any of the other ones I've seen. Wow. And actually they're all a little bit different, but this is Thank definitely you. got a different vibe that I really like. Yeah, my wife is, um, um, she's into like antiques and a lot of mm -hmm. the, like the rugs came from our great grandma, her grandmother. Oh, that's and, great, it's got a personal. Uh, my wife does upholstery too. So one of the things that made it kind of cool for us is uh, we use a lot of just found objects and then we tore out an RV that got hit, an old RV got hit by a tree. Mm -hmm. So my wife does upholstery too. So she reupholstered that chair and mm -hmm. uh, we took, it was an old couch that got, that we used, but we, okay. took, we took the um, the cushions from the couch and kind of put those back yep. here. And then this is storage underneath. And then this falls out if we have guests as a bed mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So um, she made the curtains and everything. And my mini split is kind of goes into that one bed. Oh, okay. So it kind of goes here. I had to get, you know. Didn't even see it there. The yeah, I, had to buy, I just bought an extra line and had it, you know, took me mm -hmm. a while to kind of curl it all the way around. Mm -hmm. But um, I love it. I haven't had any issues with that. And then... Uh, I'm a graphic designer as well, so like all of my computer stuff is here. Mm -hmm. I got a Mac Mini, so I just run everything and just use this computer screen. I mean, yep. this TV. Yeah, that works. And um, so a lot of people cover their windows up. I decided to keep my windows. Um, I, what I end up doing is putting some UV RV, uh, UV um, clear over top of the windows, and that really helped with the UV rays and just mm -hmm. the cooling and all of that. And I didn't really take out my ceiling or nothing because I wanted to kind of, I took, this is my second bus build. So my first bus build, I did the ceiling thing and mm -hmm. I was just like, man, that was too much. I like the ceiling in here, you know, it's a little retro, but it, it works really well. Um, and then the bathroom, we got full refit, you know, mini, but still kind of like. Yeah, that works. And then uh, you can check out the okay, bathroom. bathroom. Nice. So One complete room out, there. Yeah, we took out a, uh, 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 always shower. And then what we did is try to use the windows as, like, so my bathroom takes care of a whole window. Mm -hmm. So I kind of built the walls built around, you know, the that sections. So I didn't have to worry about taking out any windows. And then mm -hmm. even with my, um, the bathroom shower, I just want a natural light to come in. Mm -hmm. So then you can go to the back, okay. to, the, to the bedroom. That's the master bedroom. Oh, you got a full walk around bed in here? Yeah, we, uh... It's nice. We, um... That was like an old wooden bed panel thing that she uh -huh. had. I took out that... Man, that, that bathroom, corner bathroom was a beast. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Tore that thing out. And then, uh, I really wanted to just make it to where, like... Like, it's even with now, what I'll do is even with the cold air, because a lot of people put their mini splits in, they back, in the back mm -hmm. or whatever, they have numerous mini splits. Um, this little area, you know, co cools and heats pretty well. And then we just got a big box there. Well, I can I can feel the floor is cold. Yeah, the, fl yeah. the floor is cold. So, but then it, when you put this box fan here, one of the old school box fans, it blows. I bet, nice that works cool good. Air. So, you know, I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad, and then so my, um, my panel, my, my wife got food all over it. <laughs> That's fine. My electrical she, panel. She's like, going to be upset that you're showing all this Exactly. Stuff. You know she's going to be upset. I'm glad she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to edit that out? <laughs> no. You can, yeah, you can do oh. whatever you want to do. All That'd right. Be funny. Um, and then I just kind of redid the, the you know, dash. Just took some wood mm -hmm. from my floor did that. She got like, Oh, that looks good. These are all her clothes that she sells. I end up getting this little car gag. Man, this thing is amazing because it's big for my GPS and it's okay. a satellite GPS. Okay. So it doesn't go, it doesn't turn off if you don't have any, you know, data. Okay. So, I've, it, and then you can put in the size of your rig. It's mm -hmm. a little funky the way you got to put stuff in, but once you got it all locked in, yeah, it's got I can a see lot that'd of be places, nice. you know, without having to be worrying about 
this and that, and then with the dash, I just find out put a piece of wood here. Alright. Well, Malcolm, it was good. Uh, yeah, man. It, it was good getting to tour your bus. Yes, and, yes. Uh, thank you for allowing us to, and um, I think we've had a great here. It's been awesome. Time. We've had a great time at school, yeah. Awesome time. And uh, senior art and all that. So. Yeah, man. Uh, where can people find you and Good. learn more about what you're doing? Uh, you can find us uh, online, social media, Pollination Station Art Bus. Uh, we on Instagram, Facebook, and then my personal page, uh, Malcolm McRae or The Airbrush Assassin. Or you can go to my website, www.malcolmcrae.com. All right, well, thank you. Yes, Thank man, you for letting us see you again. Definitely. All right. Oh yeah, we got Dan's bus here too. Famous for being on the uh, bus grease monkey video. Oh, I'm gonna be on YouTube. Ah, uh, your bus mostly. <laughs> oh, <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it was good hanging out with you guys. I think that'll about do it for us. We've had a great week here at School of UP. A lot of fun, met a lot of interesting people. Uh, if some of you are watching this video, hey, it was good saying hi. Um, if not, hope to see you at the next one. I think we'll definitely be back. So go ahead, give us a big thumbs up and a uh, subscribe. Leave a comment below with any questions or anything and uh, see you next time. Bye.